I declare the convention open. Prime Minister of India, Shri Narendra Modi ji, Governor of Tamil Nadu, Shri Banwari Lal Purohit ji, Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Tiri Edapadi Parni Sami Avargal, Union Minister for Human Resource Development, Dr. Ramesh Pokhriyal Ji Nishank, Deputy Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Tiri O. Panir Selvam Avargal, Chairman Board of Governors, Dr. Pawan Goenka, Members of the Board of Governors, Members of the Academic Senate, Distinguished Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Chief Guests of the Degree Distribution Programs, Distinguished Guests, Colleagues, Alumni, Graduates, Award Winners and their Family Members. My greetings to everyone assembled here on this joyous occasion and a special welcome to our dear graduating students. 2019 is a momentous year for IIT Madras as we complete 60 years since inception. We are indeed honored and privileged that the Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji, has found the time and thought it fit to grace our convocation this year. We are extremely grateful to you, sir, for this gesture which we shall cherish for all time. That Chennai was the chosen location for the third IIT in India was in great measure due to the alacrity shown by the Tamil Nadu government in making available this wonderful location for its campus. We owe a special gratitude to the state government for its unstinting support to the institute ever since, including the provision of land for the IIT Madras Research Park and for further expansion of the campus at Tayu. The Ministry of Human Resources Development of the Government of India has nurtured IIT Madras with utmost care. If we have grown today to become one of the premier institutions of the country and have earned global recognition, it is in substantial measure due to the generosity of MHRD. It is no exaggeration, therefore, to state that we exist in order to serve the country and her people. We express our deepest gratitude for the generous assistance of the German government in our formative years. More than 75 German faculty and technical staff served at IIT Madras and our laboratories were fully equipped with the best machinery then available. In keeping with their famed quality, the German equipment kept working until finally we were forced to retire them to overcome obsolescence, though we still cling to a few. We continue to have thriving collaborations not just with German universities but with many other leading universities from across the world. Today we are awarding four PhD degrees jointly with the University of Technology Sydney, Swinburne University, and National Tsinghua University. The first batch of 104 st 107 students graduated in 1964 and the first PhD degree was awarded in 1965. Today, 2,584 degrees, including 371 PhD degrees, will be awarded. Over the past 60 years, more than 40,000 alumni have stepped out of our portals and made a mark for themselves and the Institute. Among them, are captains of industry, leading scientists of India's space, defense, and nuclear establishments, academicians of global renown, entrepreneurs who have created entirely new industries, civil servants of distinction, and even a famous musician or two. Many of our alumni partners engage with the Institute in various ways, including outreach to engineering college students in order to help them with internships, startups, and industry exposure. We recall with gratitude the efforts of about 1,800 faculty members and 2,400 staff members who have toiled under the stellar leadership of 11 directors during these 60 years. It was not easy to remain wedded to excellence when resources were scarce and global contacts limited. While the Institute has grown steadily since inception, it has done so by leaps and bounds in the last decade since our Golden Jubilee. In this period, our student strength has doubled. We have built a large number of new hostels, academic buildings, and residences, even as we have ensured that our campus retains its greenery and its fauna. Between 2019 
18 and 9 and 19, our faculty strength has grown by 50% and research scholar population has nearly trebled, while research funding has outpaced this to go up by six times. Our research output too has gone up dramatically in this period. IIT Madras prides itself on its research collaborations with industry. Its industrial consultancy center, harking back to 1973, mentored by the Germans before they departed. The startup ecosystem at IIT Madras is known for its deep technology startups and counts amongst them the best in the country. Given this remarkable growth, our alumni and other donors have affirmed their faith in their alma mater by increasing their contributions 40-fold in this period to touch rupees 73 crores annually last year. These key performance indicators have led to the institute being ranked first among engineering institutes in the NIRF rankings, first in the Atal innovation rankings, and most recently being declared as an institution of eminence. Perhaps less well known are the several technological contributions of our faculty, students, and startups that have had a deep and lasting impact on our people and the country, as these do not show up in any ranking framework. Among the first high-impact projects undertaken was the saving of India's fast-depleting forests by replacing wooden railway sleepers. IIT Madras and Indian Railways designed and tested the country's first pre-stressed concrete sleeper in the only laboratory then equipped to do so. IIT Madras also helped a dozen entrepreneurs set up manufacturing lines for the sleepers. In the 80s, IIT Madras designed for Doordarshan about 30 self-standing concrete towers for the first time in India at different places, ranging from Kasauli in the north to Rameshwaram in the south, from Bhuj in the west to Itanagar in the east. At 330 meters, some of these remain today the tallest freestanding structures in the country. The tower at Bhuj was among the few buildings to survive the devastating earthquakes of 2002. When India was looking for an alternative to the investment-heavy landline telephones in the 90s, IIT Madras developed and commercialized technology for fixed wireless telephones, costing only a third as much as landlines. More than a million lines were deployed and also exported to a dozen countries. Today, we have teamed up with seven other institutes to build a complete end-to-end -end 5G wireless system. Since 1985, IIT Madras has been taking up important tasks for ISRO, including some for the Chandrayaan mission. Two years from now, Indian astronauts will travel to space and return in the crew module whose splashdown was successfully tested in 2014 in the Bay of Bengal. In 2012, IIT Madras had designed and tested for ISRO a 4 to 1 scale model in its wave basin, one of only two in the country that can simulate ocean conditions. The National Cancer Tissue Bank at IIT Madras has still yet collected tissue samples from more than 3,250 patients and completed genome sequencing of 320 breast cancer samples for establishing an India-specific cancer genome database. When floods devastated Ketarnath in 2013, our National Center for Safety of Heritage Structures carried out for ISI subsoil and vibration tests, safety assessment for hydrostatic and earthquake loads, and recommended steps for structural conservation, seismic retrofit, and health monitoring. In order to attain 100% electrification of homes under the Prime Minister's Saubhagya scheme, IIT Madras provided its off-grid solar DC technology in partnership with startup Signi for around 45,000 homes in totally inaccessible regions of Rajasthan, Ladakh, Manipur, Assam, and Meghalaya. Based on 20 years of nanotechnology research, Amrit filters developed by our Center for Clean Water are delivering arsenic and iron-free water at two paise per liter to cover a million people in Punjab and Bengal every day. The country's only approved mobile eye surgery facility, jointly developed by IIT Madras and Shankar Netralaya, has performed more than 20,000 cataract surgeries in villages across Tamil Nadu and Jharkhand. Partnering with Jay Mitra, the country's first benchtop blood testing equipment, iQuant, is revolutionizing clinical testing in small towns across the country. IIT Madras has brought to bear its knowledge of the science of tire dynamics to help JK Tires create India's most fuel-efficient truck tires that compete with the global best-in-class. After helping revive the Eden Channel in the Haldia port, resulting in avoidance of dredging spoils as well as an annual savings of Rs. 250 crores, our National Port Center is now optimizing the dredging for the Ghoghar Dahej Roro service. 
As advanced manufacturing technology is key for the Make in India program, IIT Madras has collaborated with many machine tool builders to develop state-of-the-art machines, some of which are embargoed. We provide, in partnership with the startup Dhwani, advanced inspection machines for critical precision manufacturing. The problem of high wear of the cold drawing dyes in the manufacture of seamless tubes at TI has been addressed by IIT Madras using chemical vapor deposition, diamond coated, co coating technology that has increased dye life four times and provided better product finish. The indigenous Shakti family of microprocessors with architectural support for machine learning, fault tolerance and security are being used both in critical applications as well as by industry. Our work for the Tamil Nadu government spans many dimensions. The Tamil Nadu Accident and Emergency Care Initiative, designed by IIT Madras, has had an immediate impact in reducing trauma-related mortality and is now being adopted by MORTH as a pan-India model. The State Health Resources Center on our campus has carried out a study of the Chief Minister's comprehensive health insurance scheme and published the Tamil Nadu health accounts. We carry out cybersecurity studies at the Cyber Arangam and assist in infrastructure projects and pollution control through the Center for Urbanization, Buildings and Environment. Affordable, environmental friendly and rapid construction glass, glass fiber reinforced gypsum housing technology developed at IIT Madras was used to construct hostels at IIT Tirupati and now is ready for nationwide adoption to tackle the housing challenge. With nearly 200 startups incubated at the IIT Madras Research Park till date, some early ones are now approaching unicorn status. What started as a student prototype in 2014 is now India's leading e-scooter, the Aether 450. The conversational AI company, Unifor, is making waves globally with its voice-driven technologies. And small dairy farms are being automated and assisted through IoT and cloud-based intelligence by Stellapps. We are confident several more will join their ranks each year as we go forward. India will grow rapidly over the next 15 years, and IIT Madras will do more than its share to make this happen. As the world changes rapidly around us, accelerated by the revolutions in automation, artificial intelligence, and new materials, it is not enough to aspire to rise to the level of the best-in-class institutions of today. Tomorrow's model university must not only produce the best graduates and most advanced research discoveries, but should simultaneously also be of utmost relevance to the community and country through the impact of its work and through startups. IIT Madras aspires to reach the highest peaks of both excellence and relevance and thus serve the country and our people in an exemplary manner. Before I conclude, I congratulate the graduating class of 2019 and the award winners today for their hard work and stupendous performance. IIT Madras is proud of you and is confident that you will keep the flag of our institute flying high. Jai Hind. Respected Chief Guest, Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi Ji, Honorable Governor of the State of Tamil Nadu, Sri Purohit Ji, Respected Chief Minister of the State, Respected Minister of HRD, Sri Pokhriyal, Deputy Chief Minister of the State, Esteemed Members of the Board of Governors, Professor Bhaskar Ramurthy, Director of IIT Madras, Members of the Senate, Faculty and Staff of IIT Madras, Special Invitees, Guests, Family Members, and above all, the distinguished graduating class of 2019. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the Diamond Jubilee year of IIT Madras and its 56th convocation ceremony. On behalf of the Board of Governors, I am privileged to welcome our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi Ji, to IIT Madras, an enigmatic visionary and a progressive leader. Sri Modi ji is rallying the nation towards a new and modern India. The Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, Digital India Program, Make in India Initiative, GST Implementation, Direct Benefit Transfer, and much more have all been harbingers of change. For us, engineers and scientists, the most exhilarating interventions are the nine mission mode projects of the Prime Minister's Science, Technology, and Innovation Council which range from biodiversity to artificial intelligence. 
Welcome, Sri Modi ji, to a convocation ceremony. We are indeed honored to have you with us. IIT Madras's emphasis on research, teaching, entrepreneurship, holistic development, and contribution to society has once again cemented its number one rank in the National Institute ranking for 2019, fourth year in a row. This, this is a result of the collective commitment of our faculty, administration, staff, and students towards IIT Madras's holistic strategy roadmap. And you, class of 2019, have a very special distinction of graduating not just from the number one ranked engineering institute in India, but also an institute of excellence. My heartiest congratulations to each one of you for joining the elite league of IIT alumni. Being an IIT alumni myself, I can say that this is a badge of privilege and honor, but also of responsibility and expectations. I've been associated with this illustrious institute as the chairman of the Board of Governors since 2014. Excellence in teaching of this institute is acknowledged globally. What is not so well known is the excellence of research, as the director had just shared some examples with you. <clears throat> Based on my visits to various departments over the years, I can confidently say that the quality of R&D being done at IIT Madras can be easily compared with the best in the world. Our approach and commitment to R&D and teaching gives me and the Board of Governors tremendous satisfaction and immense confidence in making IIT Madras a leading engineering institute, not just in India, but across the world. And I thank Modi ji and Honorable Minister of HRD for the support provided to IITs, both for research and for teaching. Besides the spearheading next-gen technology, IIT Madras Incubation Cell, part of the IIT Madras Research Park, is empowering entrepreneurs to address critical national challenges and redefine markets through innovation and new business models. With close to 200 incubator, incubations, these startups founded by students, alumni, and faculty of IIT Madras are pushing boundaries across domains. 73 of our startups are in thriving businesses and have created more than 3,000 jobs. Sri Modi ji just visited some of these uh, before coming here to this convocation ceremony. Class of 2019, the next phase for you will include life-defining choices. Choice of being a generalist or an expert, to wear business suits or lab coats, choice of being a professional or an entrepreneur, choice of foreign shores or making it in India. Wherever you go, whatever you do, your North Star, your North Star should always be how to leverage science and technology towards building a better India. The onus lies on you to leverage what you have learned at IIT Madras and influence change for a better India, be it in the field of agricultural productivity or high-tech manufacturing or artificial intelligence or digitization, or electric vehicles, or deep ocean or space exploration. The possibilities are endless. And friends, what better time to influence the change than in modern India under the visionary leadership of Sri Modi ji. His vision is to see India among the top three economic superpowers through science and innovation, to become self-reliant pioneers of technologies and champion of change. Desiring class of 2019, congratulations once again. Go out, go out. India is waiting for you. The world is waiting for you. Make your parents proud. Make your alma mater proud. Make your country proud. God bless. Jai Hind. <laughs> Does it please the members of the Senate to approve the award of the degrees of the Institute to the candidates who have become eligible to receive them at this convocation. Yes, Mr. Director, please award the degrees of the Institute to all eligible candidates. Madam Registrar, please propose the number of candidates who have become eligible for the award of the various degrees of the Institute at this convocation.
Sir, I propose that 2,140 candidates be awarded the degrees of the Institute at this convocation. I also propose that 1,359 candidates present be awarded the degrees in person in the Department Degree Distribution Program and the rest in absentia. By the authority vested in me as the Chairman of the Senate and the Director of the Institute, I shall award the degrees as proposed by the Registrar. The degrees will be distributed by respective heads of the departments later today. Mr. Dean Academic Courses, please read out the names of prize winners present at this August Assembly. May I request the Honorable Prime Minister to present the prizes to the awardees. I request the Chairman to join. President of India Prize for the highest CGPA in B.Tech and Dual Degree and Bharat Ratna M. Ishweshwaraya Memorial Prize for the highest CGPA in B.Tech and B. Ravichandran Memorial Prize for the highest CGPA in B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering. All three awards go to Ms. Kavita Gopal. In the 60 years of IIT Madras history, this is the first time our highest honor, namely President's Gold Medal, is won by a girl student. <laughs> President of India Prize for the highest CGPA in B.Tech and Dual Degree and Bharat Ratna M. Vishweshwaraya Memorial Prize for the highest CGPA in B.Tech and Siemens Prize, all three go to the Prajumna Venkatesh Chari. <laughs> Shri V. Srinivasan Memorial Prize for the highest CGPA in dual degree and Philips India Prize for the highest CGPA in dual degree electrical engineering go to Hari Kumar Krishnamurti. Dr. Shankar Daya Sarma Prize for the best all-round proficiency in curricular and extracurricular activities in B.Tech is won by Avait Sridhar. <laughs> Banco Foundation Prize for the highest CGPA in B.Tech Mechanical Engineering, Achraj Sharma. Kalpati ATS Prize, Kalpati AGS Prize for the highest CGPA in dual degree applied mechanics, Shivam Srikant Kalkar. The Divashri Award for the highest CGPA in dual degree BS and MS, Biological Science, Pratamesh Suresh Jain. Dr. N. R. Dave Price for the highest CGPA in dual degree civil engineering, Borkar Ruthwick Bala Saheb. <laughs> Prof. G. V. N. Raidu, IIT Madras Price for the highest CGPA in dual degree mechanical engineering, Dome T. Sriram. Good Earth Shipbuilding Private Limited Prize for the highest CGPA in dual degree Naval Architecture and Ocean Engineering, Gokul Raj K.R. <laughs> Professor J. Shobhnadri Prize for the highest CGPA in dual degree B.S. and M.S. Physics, Tanai Milin Kibe.
Air India Prize for the highest CGPA in M.Tech Aerospace Engineering, Xavier Arun Raj. Professor B. V. A. Rao Endowment Prize for the highest CGPA in M.Tech Applied Mechanics, Alan George. <laughs> Shushruta Award for the highest CGPA in M.Tech Biomedical Stream and Applied Mechanics, Patel Twinkle Ashok Bai. Dr. S. S. Srikantha Prize for the highest CGPA in M.Tech Clinical Engineering, Shoham Samantha. <laughs> Dr. K. Subbaraju Memorial Prize for the highest CGPA in M.Tech Chemical Engineering, Somnath Patra. Sri S.V. Balakrishnan Prize for the highest CGPA in M.Tech Catalysis Technology in Chemical Engineering, Menta V. Purna Sai Abhishek. <laughs> K. Devarajan Memorial Prize for the highest CGPA in M.Tech Transportation Engineering Stream in Civil Engineering, Anaha Girijan. L&T Endowment Prize for the highest CGPA in M.Tech Construction Technology and Management, Nandish Baba Nagar. <laughs> CMC Prize for the highest CGPA in M.Tech Computer Science and Engineering, Anuprakesh Jain. Siemens Prize for the highest CGPA in M.Tech Electrical Engineering, Ahil Nath. <laughs> Professor Helmut Neunzet Endowment Prize for the highest CGPA in M.Tech Industrial Mathematics and Scientific Computing, Nivedita Shehal. Professor Rama Mohanarao Memorial Prize for the highest CGPA in M.Tech Mechanical Design Stream in Mechanical Engineering, Vaishnav R. <laughs> Dr. S. Vaithyanathan Memorial Prize for the highest CGPA in M.Tech Manufacturing and Precision Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Tara Dutt. <laughs> Professor B. Sengupto Prize for the highest CGPA in M.Tech Mechanical Engineering, Venetapalli Venkata Naga Sai Pranav. Sudarshan Bhatt Memorial Prize for the highest CGPA in M.Tech Metallurgical and Materials Engineering and Beauty Foundation Gold Medal Award for the highest CGPA for women student among dual degree M.Tech MS, EBS, MS. Both goes, go to Sri Pooja Mishra. <laughs> Professor K.A.V. Pandalai Prize for the highest CGPA in M.Tech Ocean Technology Barapatre Rohan Prakash. <laughs> Professor T. Govindrajan Price for the highest CGPA in M.Tech Offshore Technology, Aravind Menon. <laughs> Sri R.R.P. Sinha and Vimla Devi Price for the highest CGPA in M.Tech Petroleum Engineering, Rohin Goyal. <laughs> Srimadhi Jayalakshmi and Sri R. Narasimhan Prize for the highest CGPA in PG Diploma in Metro Rail Technology and Management, Panem Haripriya. <laughs> for the best academic record in post diploma in management for executives in manufacturing, NMCC gold medal, Saikat Das. Jika Gold Medal, Soumya Ghosh.
IIMC Alumni Association Gold Medal, Sauro Brana. Ratna Rao Memorial Prize for the highest CGPA in MSc Chemistry, Atanu Ghosh. <laughs> Professor Shilakuri Ramasastri Memorial Prize for the highest CGPA in highest CGPA in MSc Physics, Anoma Ganguli. Goka Parthasarji Prize for the highest CGPA in MBA, Monisha Dixit. K.V. Arun Kumar Memorial Prize for the best overall performance in MBA, Vignesh Balakrishnan. Dr. Dilip Iraragavan Memorial Award for the highest CGPA in five-year integrated MA program, Development Studies, Anvesha Pati. <laughs> Professor A.V. Krishnarao Memorial Award for the highest CGPA in five-year integrated MA program, English Studies, Divya Vijay Kumar. GE Echo Imagination Excellence Award for the highest best PhD thesis in the area of environmentally friendly green technologies, Nehi. <laughs> Bhakya Lakshmi and Krishna Yangar Award for the best project thesis in the field of solar, alternative energy application, energy efficiency, pollution abatement, infrastructure improvement, Divanshu Kumar, and Iran Uzud Wasan Avin. Thank you, sir. Now, for the big moment we're all waiting for, I invite the Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji to give his convocation a convocation address. Sri Banwari Lal Purohit ji, Governor of Tamil Nadu. Sri Idapati K. Palani Swamiji, Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, my colleague Sri Ramesh Pokharian Dishangiji, Deputy CM Pandit Selvamji, Chairman, Board of Governors, Siman Pavan Goenkaji, Members of the Board of the Governors, Director Professor Ramurthy, Faculty of this great institution, distinguished guests, and my young friends who are standing. The friends standing on the threshold of a golden future. It is a great pleasure to be here today. In front of me is both a mini India and the spirit of new India. There is energy, vibrancy, and positivity. I can see the dreams of the future in your eyes. I could see the destiny of India in your eyes. 
friends i want to congratulate the parents of those graduating imagine their pride and joy they have struggled they have sacrificed to bring you to this juncture in your lives they have given you your wings so that you can take flight this pride is also reflect in the eyes of your teachers they have created through their untiring efforts not just good engineers but also good citizens i also want to highlight the role of the support staff the silent behind the scenes people who prepared your food keep the classes clean keep the hostels clean in your success they too have a role to play before moving on i urge my student friends to join me to applaud your teacher parent and support staff with standing ovation thank you friends this is a remarkable institution i am told that here the mountains move and the rivers are stationary we are in the state of tamil nadu which has a special distinction it is home to the oldest language in the world tamil and and it is home to one of the newest languages in india the iit madras lingo there is a lot that you will miss you will surely missing sarang and sastra you will miss your wing mates and there are something you will not miss most notably you can now buy top quality footwear without any fear <laughs> friends you are indeed fortunate 
you are passing out such a fantastic institute at a time when the world is looking at India as a land of unique opportunities. I have just written from America. During this visit, I met many heads of state, business leaders, innovators, investors. In our discussions, there was one thread common. It was optimism about New India. And confidence in the abilities of the young people of India. Friends, the Indian community had made a mark for itself all over the world. Especially in science, technology and innovation. Who is powering this? Lot of them are your IIT seniors. Thus, you are making brand India stronger globally. These days, I interact with young officers clearing up the UPSC exam. The number of IIT graduates will surprise both you and me. Thus, you are also making India a more developed place and go to the corporate world and you will see many, many who studied in IIT. Thus, you are also making India more prosperous. Friends, I see the foundations of the 21st century resting on three crucial pillars of innovation, teamwork and technology. Each of these complement each other. Friends, I just came from the Singapore India Hackathon. The innovators from India and Singapore were working together. They were finding solutions to common challenges. All of them devoted their energy towards one direction. These innovators came from different backgrounds. Their experiences were different. But all of that merged towards creating solutions that help not only those in India, and Singapore, but also to the world. This is the power of innovation, teamwork, and technology. It benefits not a select few, but everyone. Today, as India is inspiring to become a $5 trillion economy, your innovation aspiration and application of technology will fuel this dream. It becomes it become the bedrock of India's big leap into the most competitive economy. Friends, IIT Madras is a prime example of how a decade-old institution can transform itself to meet the needs and aspirations of the 21st century. A little while ago, 
I visited the research park established on campus. This is the first such effort in the country. I saw an extremely vibrant startup ecosystem today. I was told that so far about 200 startups have been incubated here. It was good fortune to see some of them. I saw efforts in electric mobility, Internet of Things, healthcare, artificial intelligence, and more. All these startups should create unique Indian brands which will make their place in the world market in future. Friends, India's innovation is a great blend of economics and utility. IIT Madras is born in that tradition. Here the students and researchers take up the toughest problems and come up with a solution that is accessible and workable for all. I am told students here intern with startups, write codes from their rooms. And that too without food or sleep. Except for the hungry and no sleep part, I hope that spirit of innovating and pursuing excellence continue in the time to come. <laughs> Friends, we have worked to create a robust ecosystem for research and development in our country. Friends, machine learning, artificial intelligence, robotics, state-of-the-art technologies are now all being introduced students much earlier. We are working to create utter tinkering labs all over the country. Once the students come to an institution like yours and want to work on innovations, there are utter incubation centers being created in many institutions. The next challenge is to find a market to develop a startup. The Startup India program is designed to help you meet these challenges. This program will support innovations to find their way to the market. In addition, in order to promote research and development in the country, we have created the Prime Minister's Research Fellow Scheme. Friends, it is the result of these efforts that India is today one of the top three startup friendly ecosystems. You know what is the best part of India's strides in the startups? that this rise is powered by people from Tier 2, Tier 3 cities and even rural India. In the world of startups, the language you speak matters far less than the language you can code in. The power of your surname does not matter. You have the opportunity to create your own name. What matters is your marriage. Friends, do you remember when you first began prepare for the IIT? Remember how tough things looked, but your hard work made the impossible into possible. There are many opportunities awaiting you. 
not all of them easy but what today looks impossible is only waiting for your first step to seem within reach do not be bogged down break things down in steps as you move from one step to another you will see the problem getting solved in front of you bit by bit the beauty of human endeavor lies in possibilities so never stop dreaming and keep challenging yourself that way you will keep evolving and becoming a better version of oneself friends i know that there are great attractive opportunities waiting for you when you step out of this institution make use of them i have however request to make you all of you no matter where you work no matter where you live do also keep in the mind the needs of your motherland your mother india think of how your work innovation and your research could help a fellow indian not only is this your social responsibility it also makes immense business sense can you find most cost effective and innovative ways to recycle water used in our homes offices industries so that our fresh water extraction and use is reduced today as a society we want to move beyond single use plastics what can be an environment friendly replacement that offers similar use but not similar disadvantages this is when we look towards our young innovators like you take health care many of the diseases that affect a large section of the population in the near future will not be the traditional contagious disease it will be lifestyle disease such as hypertension type 2 diabetes obesity stress with the field of data science maturing and with the presence of data around the disease technologies can find a way to find patterns in them when technology comes together with data science diagnostics behavioral science and medicine interesting insight can emerge are there things that can be done to reverse their spread are there patterns that we need to be very very of can technology answer these questions will iit students take up this up i speak about fitness and healthcare because high achievers like you may run a risk of negligent neglecting your own health because you are so immersed in work i urge you to be active participants in the fit india movement both by focusing on personal fitness and by furthering innovation in healthcare friends we have seen that there are two types of people those who live and those who merely exist it is for you to decide do you want to exist or do you want to live life to the fullest consider a bottle of a medicine well past its expiry date 
perhaps even a year past its expiry date the bottle exists perhaps the packaging also looks attractive the medicine inside also still exists but what is its use can life be like this life should be lively and purposeful and the best recipe the best recipe for living a full life to know to learn to understand and to live for others as swami vivekanand rightly said they alone live who live for others friends your convocation ceremony indicates the conclusion of your current course of study but it is not the end of your education education and learning is a continuous process believe be learn i wish you all again a bright future dedicated to the good of humanity thank you thank you very much and all the best thank you very much sir for the truly inspirational address graduates of the year i charge you that in thought word and deed you will ever maintain the purity dignity and integrity of your profession and the honor of our institute graduates of the year please stand and take the pledge We, we the, the graduates, graduates of the Indian, Indian Institute, Institute of Technology, Technology Madras, Madras hereby pledge, by pledge that, that we shall, we shall in, thought, in thought, word, word and deed, deed ever and ever, ever to be scrupulously honest. in the discharge of our duty that in all circumstances we shall uphold the dignity and integrity of our profession and the honor of our institute and the nation and that we shall devote all our energies to promote the unity and secular ideal of our country and utilize our knowledge in the service of our nation and society sahana bhavatu sahana bhunaktu सहवीर्यम करवावह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मा विद्विषावह ओम शांति शांति शांति
on behalf on behalf of all those assembled here i request the director to give a memento to the chief guest this beautifully crafted mat is made from the korai grass in patamadai village of tamil nadu through innovative design and adaptation iit madras has developed a loom and electronic jacket which has increased productivity by 300% thank you i declare the convocation closed